finishes, another one starts. <laughs> Welcome to Dubai Airport. I am here at the Emirates Business Class Lounge. Look at this, looking fabulous. And um, I think I've been awake for about 20 hours now and it's starting to kind of show. But I just had a shower and I'm gonna grab me Ruby Costa. Yeah, right, I have got my much needed English breakfast tea, although they don't know how to make a cup of tea, but never mind, it's okay. And I'm just, Oof, you can see this and watching the world go by, which is pretty cool actually. Let me show you. As I mentioned in my other video, this business class lounge is like pretty much the same length as the terminal, or this part of the terminal anyway. And then above us is then the first class lounge. It's pretty epic. And there's loads of like seating areas where you can like sit and chill. It is a very, very busy lounge. Um, and then there's like a buffet area, which we'll go to in a minute. Right, I might be having some breakfast, maybe just a little snack, although I guess there's food on the plane, but we've got it by different food regions. So we've got Asian breakfast. I'm not crazy on that, so let's go down here. There's a huge dessert station. Magazines. So you literally can just obviously help yourself to absolutely anything. Ooh, Arabic sweets, yum, obviously champagne. Kind of not vibing the champagne right now, it's way too early. Some more treats. And there's a little ice cream cart there that you can have a cone, yummy. And there's this huge seating area, obviously quite busy, but nevertheless, you're definitely gonna find somewhere to sit. And then Middle Eastern and Western. So this is probably gonna be my vibe. What have we got here? Yogurts. Okay, waffles. Yum. And looks like bacon. It might be turkey bacon. Okay, let's grab something. See, I cannot be trusted at a buffet. Look how bad that is. It's so naughty. I'm not going to eat all of it. And this is veal bacon, so we'll give that a go. It's like I'm a, on a little date by myself. Mm. And this view is much better on this side, so couple of planes and then Dubai with that. I don't know if you can this see it. Exceptional for missing passengers on oh, I'm such a piglet. I just ate all that. Right, I might have to skip breakfast on board now because that's too much food. But yeah, it's a lot quieter now, which was really nice. The gate's about 20 minutes away, it said, so uh, yeah, let's leave in like five minutes. I am starting to flag a bit now need to stay awake. I think this flight is about four hours, so it's not too bad, maybe four and a half hours. Uh, I'm gonna watch some TV, and hopefully there's no one sat next to me, fingers crossed. Oh my gosh, I do look tired, and I'm backlit. That's a little better, right? <laughs> I can't wait to go to bed. Right, just checking the board, and I don't know what that says. I know that we are C7, so this must mean Dakar. Now, I definitely wish this was a day flight and the flight I've just had, because I would enjoy this probably a lot, lot more. Ooh, and I've just spotted some very different food. Ah, an Actimel. I absolutely love Actimels. I'm having this now, yum. Ah, kids playroom, how cool is that? It looks like fun. I will see you in literally like three and a half days. Right, let's head on out and get our next flight. Now, I couldn't show you everything. There's like a spa, there's a champagne bar, but um, it's a bit early for champagne and um, I wasn't gonna go to the spa. Emirates Business Class Lounge, I would give you a solid nine out of 10. We have to go to see something or other. So let's go down. You can see the first class lounge over there. Super fancy people in there. Finally, into the main part of the terminal, there's loads of Expo 2020. Dubai stuff here, understandably. Uh, yeah, so they said it was like a 20 minute walk. I don't think it'll be 20 minutes, right? That's super far. But you've got all your premium brands. Oh, Chanel. We'll have to look at the Chanel on the way home for sure. Even if you don't have like lounge access, I feel like you could spend absolutely ages walking around here. It's a, such a lovely airport. Do you ever look at the other gates and see where they're going? Oh, Mauritius, <gasps> amazing. Can I go there instead? And cue the montage of me walking. <laughs>
exciting uh, sped up time lapse thing of Bobby, is it? But literally, this has to be the biggest airport I've ever been to. This definitely is bigger than Hong Kong. And I mean, I've been power walking for like 10 minutes now and I'm still like a good 10 gates away. <laughs> this is crazy. I cannot believe how many shops are here. It's utterly ridiculous. And some of them, it's just the same stuff. I mean, they must sell it, I guess, otherwise they wouldn't do it. My gosh, everything. Even if you just turn up to the airport without anything, you can just buy it all. Obviously at a cost. <laughs> Look at that, gold bars, palm trees. That's pretty awesome. I have passed three Emirates lounges on the way here. So they did say when we went into the other one, oh, there's, there's others nearer, which is completely right. So this is kind of crazy. I've never been anywhere with multiple lounges for somewhere. Please don't think I'm complaining. I'm more just absolutely floored. There is an airport this big. I've power walked for 17 minutes. That's quite a long time. <laughs> right, the plane's only just arrived, so they need to clean it <laughs> and do the catering. So she said that the business lounge, I literally just walked past it. Where was it? literally one minute away she said she's like go and enjoy that and there'll be an announcement so yeah also it was all kicking off a bit of drama at the gate this man he wasn't having it his bag was too heavy for like the overhead what's it do does but he was he was mad and the staff were not having it drama drama right let's give this one a go it's probably gonna be literally copy and paste like a buffet look at this epic view Right, already this lounge is better, I prefer it. Look at that beast. Now, we're not going on A380, we are going, I think, on that little Emirates triple, I say little, it's still a triple seven, but versus this bird, that is pretty epic. Okay, I like the lounge in here. It's pretty calm. The other one was very, very busy, but very big. I'm liking all the kind of old school Rolex clocks. Oh, no, not Sydney though. We're not allowed to know what time it is there. Right. Let's see what we've got. I don't need any more food or drink. I'm so full. Can't believe I just ate a bacon, waffle, and a croissant. What an absolute fatty. Right, yeah, so you've got the same situation. Drinks, you can grab what you want. And then food. I'm probably not gonna bother to go and have a look because it's really the same stuff. And then sit down area and then a lounge vibe over here and if you did want ice cream look at these flavors of oh, swiss chocolate ice cream amazing arabic coffee with dates oh it's a bit early for ice cream i'm starting to feel like a little bit sniffly i think it's just sort of like the dry air from the airplane um yeah this isn't too bad of a view is it a380 and a triple seven hiding over there some nice little seatings showtime Let's see what a triple seven is like right it's like the older product but that's okay i am in 5k which looks like me oh without a window so we've got the nice big screen nice like big bowl little storage bit down there and then we have like the tablet situation again which is so unnecessary little flight controller there's no like mini bar or anything so there's not many places to like put anything and yeah i failed i have a seat with a window i have a window here so that's okay but it's a very very busy flight i do have someone sat next to me so i'll give them some privacy only negative really is there's no footrest i don't want to be a diva but I want to chill and watch a movie with my feet up. Let's see what food is on offer. So my flight is 10.30. It's a little past now. I think we're going to be a bit late. Um, so for lunch, we got soup, meze. I'm not having the meze again. I had it earlier. Prawn, salad. And then you've got a trio for main courses. All bread basket, always. And then whatever that is at the end. Condiments is on board. And then desserts. Um, couple of options there. Cheese board, I'm all about the cheese board. And some chocolates. And if you 
you haven't seen my earlier vlog from my H.O.80 journey, it's exactly the same on the mocktails and the soft drinks. Then on the actual cocktails, I'm really impressed with the offer that they have here, it's really quite something. Oh, breakfast martini, oh gosh, I'm not sure if I can drink any more alcohol, I need a bed. So, got some whiskies and some other alcohol as well, I'm not going to read through it all, pause it if you want to see more. Quick toilet tour. Um, this is definitely like an older kind of 70s vibe going on, but I, I like the little orchid. Um, you've got the same things like the perfumes and dental kits and whatnot. So um, yeah, it's okay. I'm glad this is the shorter part. Um, the other thing was way better. <laughs> yeah, so it's a slightly older product, but that's okay. You may have guessed by my tone. I'm kind of struggling now. I'm just going to have a nice little grind juice and wait for the departure to happen. I'm tired now. <laughs> this plane is also super dirty. There's like fingerprints everywhere. It's kind of gross. And my window is so grubby. Oh, I think they need to clean this plane a little bit better. If no one's going to clean it, I might as well clean it myself. <laughs>
look what I hit now. <laughs> yes, I can see my suitcase in the background. This is Dhaka Airport. Super exciting. Right, we are out of the airport. We are just about to get our car. I hope it's not that little tuk tuk there. <laughs> and I've made it to my room. Nothing too exciting, but I've got kind of a decent sized room, a decent TV, two huge beds, and a pretty all right bathroom. So, yeah. This will do for one night. Oh my gosh, I look like death. <laughs> How embarrassing. Why am I putting this on the internet? Right, I have just looked at my phone because when I woke up, technically yesterday morning, I did like the stopwatch on my iPhone. Um, it says that I've been awake for 28 hours, good times, and door to door from my flat when I got picked up in that nice car to here has been 19 and a half hours quite a long travel day which is why i put it over two of these vlogs um so i'm here for one night oh my god literally one night i can't even unpack and i have another flight tomorrow evening to a place called chittagong um which is like an hour away so that's not too bad and then the hotel there is really nice and yeah and then i'm there for two nights and then i come home so like i said at the beginning it is a long journey for quite a quick week but thank you so much for joining me i hope you've enjoyed it um i'm kind of enjoying vlogging something a little bit different but apologies the quality of this is not my canon g7x mark ii but you know what using iphone is pretty cool but that said i'm off i'm getting room service washing my hair and my face oh because i look scary and i'm going to sleep bye <laughs>